Hey you guys, welcome back. In this quick video, I'm just gonna show you how to share an ESOL project. Sometimes it might help to send somebody the link, that way they can open your file and see exactly what you're dealing with. For like troubleshooting problems or uh, figuring out what to do with a certain project to get from point A to point B. Or just to share the project with a fellow CNCer. Or let's say you're selling the files and you decide that you want to also link them to the ESOL project instead of just sitting in the SVG of the design. Anyway, I'll jump right into it. So, so you might want to just copy this link and send it to them. And if we do that, it appears to work on uh, first test. We come over here and we open it ourselves and it works just fine. But that's because we're still logged in. Let me go ahead and open another instance of Google Chrome in an incognito window where we're not logged in yet. And if we open using that link, we get this login prompt here. And if we log in as another user, we get this error pop up here. This project has not been shared publicly. So let me head right on back here. And here in this file, we need to actually click project and share, and then change it from private to unlisted. And this link is actually the same as that one. So you can either right click up here and copy, or when you click it here, it automatically copies even from a left click. And then you also have some shortcuts here to share it on your Facebook page or an email link as well. So once I've changed it to unlisted and closed that, I'll go ahead and jump back over here to this other one and we'll paste in that exact same link as before. And it's going to open on this other account. Now you see here it opens in this sandbox area, they call it. And it has a gray top with a blue link here. And what this blue link will do is it will make a copy into this user's projects. For example, the friend you sent it to, or if you're sending it to uh, me or somebody else for help with a project, this is how I can make my own copy locally. Now, even if I made changes to these now, they would not affect the original owner's files. They would just not ever get saved until this is selected. And it would only make those changes saved to the new person's project, not to the original owner's. So for instance, you send me a file, and I make a video on how to change it and I want to send that file back to you, I have to make my own copy and go through the same steps of sharing it in order to send that project back because those changes are not incorporated onto the original project. So the neat part about that is it can only be shared via that link. Although it is no longer private, it's only shareable via that link. So nobody else can currently find this project unless I post this link somewhere and share it with them. So another option for sharing your file is to actually publish it onto the Inventables website. So we'll have to type in a project title. It'll actually rip the uh, project name that you have in there already. So we can set this to welcome sign with castle. And we have to type in a description here. And I'll use castle door hanger for my description. I actually, actually call it castle front door hanger. And if you haven't already, make sure you do like this video. It really helps share these to other users. And we do have to upload an image. So all three of these things here, it doesn't identify them as requirements, but if you try and proceed without completing them, it will give you a pop-up that a problem has occurred. So now after publishing, we can view it. So it takes us over here to Inventables, and we can actually do more to edit this, but we have to log in first. So I'm gonna go ahead over here and click this and log in. And now that I've logged in, I can actually edit my project. And you can see here, it kind of guides you through from the overview where we can change the title and subtitle, the description, add a ton of additional photos to it. And if you have more than one photo, it will allow you to select which one's the cover, and then we'll come over here to the build materials. And you can add items to it, as well as digital files, if you want to include the SVG or anything like that to it. You can change the license type you have selected and add additional instructions. Now this one here is where you would add the step-by-step -step process for a build or a carve. And then you can view the project as it is here. In addition to that, you can also turn it back off of public. So if you had publicized one and then you decide, oh, I don't want that to be shown to everybody, you can uncheck the public button and you get this pop-up saying your project is now private. And then you can also select your name here and go to My Projects and see all of your published projects as well in case you want to see other projects you published. That about does it for this video. And if you've gotten this far into the video and you haven't hit the like button, let me know in the comments below why. Thank you guys for watching. Check out this video next.